How do the rules of evidence, created when documents were written using pen and ink on paper or vellum, apply to the Internet age? The court considered that question in United States v. Vayner. Simeon Vayner and Alexander Sheltsu allegedly produced a fictitious birth certificate for a non-existent infant and delivered it by email to Vladislav Timku, a Ukrainian citizen. Timku wanted the certificate to avoid Ukraine's mandatory military service under an exemption for parents of young children. Vayner and Zhiltsu were charged with transferring a false identification document. Vayner pleaded guilty, so only Zhiltsu went to trial. Timku, testifying pursuant to a plea deal, said that he and Zhiltsu both worked at an internet cafe called Cyber Heaven and that Zhiltsu also worked at a company called Martex International. Timku testified that he received the fake birth certificate from a Gmail address named Asmodeus. The government called federal agent Klein, who introduced a printout from the website called VK. Klein described VK as the Russian equivalent of Facebook. The page purported to be the profile of Alexander Shiltsov. Klein testified that Shiltsov was an alternative spelling for Shiltsu. Klein testified that the page contained Shiltsu's photograph and included a Skype address named Asmodeus. The profile page also listed Shiltsov as working at Martex International and at Cyber Heaven. Klein admitted that he wasn't familiar with VK and hadn't used the site before except to view this single page. Klein didn't know whether VK required identity verification before a user could create an account or a profile. Zhiltsu objected to Klein's testimony regarding the Zhiltsov profile and to the admission of the printout. The district court overruled the objection. In summation, the government argued that the Zhiltsov profile, including its link to the Asmodeus Skype address, linked Zhiltsu to the identically named Asmodeus Gmail account used to forward the fake birth certificate to Timku. The jury then convicted Zhiltsu, who appealed to the Second Circuit.